and there is a school bus that, which is flushing yellow if you guys see that the car maintain that exactly in the middle the car stays exactly in the middle both side has like equal space so right over here the car always makes a mistake and like very very slow very cautious i really really don't know why because if the light is was green on that time we're probably gonna get stuck on a red again why you need to change the lane you don't need to change the lane Ugh. hello everyone we are back with another full self-driving video and as you guys can see our car just get out from my driveway it's not a driveway it's like a parked in front of my driveway also guys if you guys are new i request you please subscribe to our channel because in this channel we're gonna show you where the fsd makes mistake and also where the car makes excellent moves so we're gonna make a right turn here or right over there and we'll see how the car handles uh, this right turn let's see right guys so hopefully the car can make this right turn very nice very nice didn't creep and it shouldn't because this is a always stop sign if this is a always stop sign you don't need to creep which is very nice so now on this upcoming stop sign we have to definitely stop and then we have to look on our left and look on our right side to see if there is any other car and then we can make that right turn we'll see how the car handles this one we stopped we are creeping 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 and there is no other car after this car we should go now it stopped now it stopped you could oh, this is the thing i get frustrated that car was so far that car was like so far but still our car hesitate to you know like change the lane i really don't know why and now we will go straight so right over here the car always makes a mistake yesterday did it perfectly after version 12.3.6 comes we should uh, and we need to change the lane to follow the uh, route and the car slows down i hope the car will change the lane there are another car just very close to our left side it is not following the route it still didn't change right now it's changing the lane and we'll see it's very last moment this is what i don't like so it is getting in it did it perfectly so the issue is we need to stop here as you guys can see here in the map right but at the very end it changed the lane which i don't like when we are gonna take an exit or anything we change a lane at least 0 0.5 miles or for local road probably 0 0.2 mile but not at the very very end and it stopped here for probably four seconds there are other cars in our back and uh, as i said guys it did it perfectly there is no problem no confusion but the lane change was pretty late and this car will park and there is another car coming so we'll see how the car handles this one it uh, already realized this car will park and it did that perfectly and we're gonna make a right turn here let's see and uh, i'm gonna end the navigation here and we'll see how the car goes right over there um oops oops you cannot make it so don't try to do it don't try to do it yeah you slows down now the navigation will change and on the next one you can go but again, because the navigation didn't update, the car cannot do it. So now we're gonna make a right turn on this stop sign. And then we will make another right on a traffic light. So we should creep a little bit to see on our left side, there are so many trees. So the car have to go a little far. And there is a school bus that, which is flushing yellow and our car just passed nicely done and no complaint going a little slow because this is a suburb road the road is narrow and the road is not cleared that much not a straight it's kind of like ups and down road and there are some park truck and a human so we need to give a space and the car perfectly do that and now going into this uh, right turn lane which is nice we can make a right turn on this red light Let's see, the car is creeping, try to see and make that right turn perfectly. Very nice job. 
No complain at all. Very, very nice. Also, guys, I just want to request you, please, I'm a new content creator. If you guys are new in this channel, watching this content for the first time, if you feel like you, I should grow and my content is valuable to you, please make sure you hit that red color button, which called subscribe. And this is the only free way you can support me as a content creator. So please, please, please. Click that subscribe button. That is the only free way you can support me as a content creator. Thank you so much. And we're very near to our destination. And we'll see how the car handles this one. The car is changing the lane to follow the route. Very nice. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take over. I just saw a, a road, which will be a tricky road to make a left turn. So what I'm going to do is try to make that left turn over there. So we'll see how the car handles that turn right so what i'm gonna do go over there and tell the car to make a u-turn like this not a u-turn make a left turn on an unprotected road so we're gonna make a u-turn here and tell the car that can you please make a left turn and we'll see how the car handles this one right guys Let's see how the car handles this thing. This is kind of a Chuck road. If you guys know FSD, if you guys know Chuck Cook on YouTube, he always makes this kind of similar road where the car needs to make an unprotected left, where in it needs to look on the left and look on the right side. And then it, if it needed, it need to wait on the middle of the intersection, almost middle of the intersection, or um, I, I'm, I don't uh, remember the terms it called. But uh, yeah, so we'll see how the car handles this one. This is not a very busy road like Chuck, but we definitely need to look on our left and look on our right side. There is no other car on the left and no other car on the right. The car made that perfectly looks very easy very very easy and perfectly done very nice job right guys i wish this is a busy road and uh, i really wish the car could handle the busy road and we'll definitely try this more and more so what i'm gonna do is change the navigation again and go to my workplace let's see how the car handles that one right This is a very sharp curve road. The car was going a little fast and then realized this is a curvy road and decreased the speed. Intelligent, I have to say. Also, guys, there is no intervention today. You have to make that point that there is no intervention yet, right? So we are just eight minutes away from our destination. We'll see how the car handles that one. Have to look which mount is making the noise. There are some noise coming from the mount. So I definitely have to look on that. And also, guys, again, guys, if you guys are new, please subscribe to our channel because in this channel, we were going to give you right information about FSD. Why you need to change the lane? You don't need to change the lane. Oh, I really don't know why it decided to change the lane. You could just go easily straight. Probably it is trying to go fast because there are like four cars here and we're just one here and probably one in front of it. Uh, like human like driving, but there was other cars in my back. It was a little tricky to change the lane at the time, but the car did it perfectly. So no complaint on that. But if I was driving, I would not, not, not just change the lane here and there, you know. So today is very sunny day and because of that, there are so many shadows on the road. So I'm feeling a little bit the car is decreasing, increasing speed, decreasing and increasing speed depending on the shadow. Um, not pretty sure is it the real reason, but it feels like the car is decreasing whenever it sees shadow on the road. Uh, we'll see and we're going to observe that later on. Uh, so guys, right over here, uh, we're going to make a left turn, right? This is a two-way lane which makes a left. 
So we have to change the lane in the middle of right over here. As you guys can see, the lane is coming. So we need to march over there and then immediately make a left when the light is green. We'll see how the car handles this one. You see the car is hesitating a little bit, going a little slow over here and like very, very slow, very cautious. I really, really don't know why, because if the light is was green on that time, we're probably gonna stuck on a red again. So the car perfectly comes here, very hesitating over there in this exact road in version 11, the car was not hesitating, but after I got version 12 was very good too. 12.3 was very good. But 12.456 is very hesitant. I came yesterday too with version 12.6. Some previous video I came with 12.4 or something. And the car was hesitating over there too. Exactly well coming straight. Uh, really don't know why because the car was probably thinking like which lane I'm gonna make a left and stuff like that But this both lane if you guys saw this both lane makes left But for some reason the car was hesitating a little bit Now the light just changed we're gonna make a left the car is doing it Let's see, a little wide, if you follow the white line, the car made that left turn a little wide. Uh, so the line is like this, the car was going like this, like a little bit of a space there, probably two, three feet. So we are very close to our destination, guys. I will try to park in front of my office to show you how the um auto park works and hopefully you guys will like it uh so let's do it right guys we're very near to my office and we're definitely gonna try the auto park feature yesterday the car uh made that um uh, get into my driveway itself and park itself which was very good so but i captured that with my camera for some reason the footage doesn't look that good so i just deleted that footage so i'm gonna try it again today and we'll see how the car handles the auto park today. And we have to make this left in this driveway. Let's see if the car can do it. It was already passed. Uh, it is past my office for some reason. Really don't know. We'll see if the car can handle this. Get in. So the car is getting in in my driveway. Very nice. And then making another immediate left to follow the route and now uh, okay okay hesitation here and there going a little slow so what i'm gonna do is take over because the car is getting confused but i will definitely show you the auto park feature right now so my office has some parking which is marked so if i go slow you can see the that will pop up yes that is popping up and i'm gonna give the car a little hard time to show R and C, where can I park? So this one, I want to park. So I'm going to press start here. It understands how to do the parking. It goes a little left. And, uh, and now turn on the reverse. And doing it very smoothly and nicely. We'll see how the car handles. If you guys see that, the car maintain that exactly in the middle. The car stays exactly in the middle. Both sides has like equal space and auto park complete. Very nice job. The car parked itself. And also, guys, if you guys are new in this channel, please make sure you subscribe to our channel and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Thank you.